I just hit the recording button. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Cassandra, aka the Daily Wealth Ninja. And before I get started, let me make sure that you can hear me so I can refresh my page here and check out the recording uh, before we get too far into this because I don't know about you, but there have been times, hello, hello. perfect, there have been times where I've done trainings for like an hour and realized that the mute was on later. So that's what happened the last week for those that you've been following me. I um, do every every week I do a little bit of training on um, Forex because it is the only skill set that I've ever found that allows you to potentially create additional income without having to be a salesperson. And so I've decided to start um, creating content to share what I've been learning with others because, like I said, I feel like everyone should know this. So last week, I was continuing my um, Forex Margin 101 training, and after going through it and, clo and uh, finishing out, I found out that every time I was pressing the M button, my OBS software, which is free, it's open broadcast software, kept muting everything. So this is the redo for last week. My intention is to create a second one in just a few minutes, but let's go ahead and get started with this particular training so we can catch up to this week. So like I said in the description of this, we are going to cover a review of what is required margin. Uh, we're going to talk about required margin versus used margin and how to calculate used margin. Now, you won't necessarily really need to know this unless you are trying to put in a lot of trades, but please be sure that you are following your own trading um, plan because if you don't, that's how most people blow their accounts. So before we get started, let's go ahead and start with some uh legal stuff. I am not a licensed financial advisor. I am simply sharing with you the education and information that I've been learning to do my own training. All material presented in the stream is for educational and instructional purpose purposes only. It should not be considered trade advice or trade recommendations. All right, so now that we've go, gone ahead and made that, oh, past results not typical and do not guarantee nor dictate your future success. Your results are based off of your level of education and appetite for risk. All right. <laughs> So first things first, let me get my, oh, actually, let me get my notes back up here so I can talk about this first. All right, so required margin. In, the in I guess, two videos ago, we talked about required margin. It's basically the specific amount or set aside amount for you in your uh, account that you must have in order to get into and stay in a trade. So let's say you had $1,000 and the number of trades that you were in at the, at the moment with leverage and your broker and whatever else you were using, let's say that you needed $700 to get into some trades or whatever, which actually is really, really big and I wouldn't suggest that, but let's say that you were, right? So you'd have to have $700 just to get in the trade and hold it. And if at any time you added a new trade onto it, depending upon if you had enough funds available in your account, you may or may not be able to get in that trade. And if for some reason the you have not set your stop loss or anything like that, um, if if the risk is too high, most brokers usually close your accounts for you, okay? So, required margin. Like I said, it's the amount that you have to set aside in order to get into or stay in a trade. Each position that you take has its own required margin, all right? And in order to have used margin, you add up all of the required margin of your open trades to get your used margin. So let's say that you had three trades at open at the moment that were $100 each, you then had $300 in used margin. $100 per trade for required, $300 total for your used margin. This is money in your account that is locked up and cannot be used in future trades until you close out in profit. If you close out in loss, that money is lost because that's basically the risk that you put forth uh, for it. All right, so we've covered those couple of pieces. We covered review of what is required margin. We've covered required margin versus used margin. And now let's calculate, or excuse me, how, discuss how to calculate used margin. Now I've already said, before I get started, let me show this. Cool. I've already said, you know, how to calculate it, but let me go ahead and show you um, on the screen here some calculations. Okay. So first things first, let's say that you had 
$1,000 in your account and you wanted to make two trades, each one a mini lot each of a U United States dollar Japanese yen and United States dollar um, oh, franc, Canadian, CHF, whatever that stands for. <laughs> um, so you have those trades, right? And for those of you that are not aware, a mini lot is equivalent to, excuse me, 10,000 units. Most people, when they're trading, are not trading mini lots. They're usually trading micro, um, but we're not going to get into that in this particular trading, or excuse me, training trading video. All right, so your base currency, which is the currency on the left side of your pair, for since we're using the US dollar at both as our base currency, then one unit is equivalent to $1 on a mini lot, right? So that's equivalent to 10K for that trade. Now, as we discussed before, your required margin, which is the, the amount of money you have to have available in your account in order to place or continue a trade, is your notational value, what it's worth, times your margin requirement or your percent. Again, we talked about this in our last video, what a margin requirement was. Your notational value is 10K. So, example for, so for these examples, <laughs> let's say that you have your USDJPY right, and you are looking to have, um, of that 10,000 units, you know that your re margin requirement is 4%. That means that your margin requirement is 10,000, whoops, times 0 0.04, or also known as $400, right? If you were to get the other one, just copy that there. If you use the um, USD CHF pair, if let's say it was at 3% of a margin requirement, then you would need $300 of margin in order to place or keep said trade. So your used margin, as I said before, is the sum of all of your open trades or your um, required margin, that which is what you have open. So 400 plus 300 is $700. So if you were trading in many lots and you were trading with a base currency of USD, then depending upon which, which pairs had whatever margin requirements, each pair is different, then you just add that up. And this $700 is your um, uh, used um, margin. <laughs> All right, so I believe, let me go ahead and check my notes real quick. Talked about that, talked about that. And I believe that's it. So thank you so much for watching today. If you got value from this, please like this video, share it with someone you think should hear it today. And if you want to see more videos like this, I do Forex trading videos every week, but I also own a digital marketing agency as well. And I'm working on getting more content out about how you can get more people to see your product, your service, or just simply your business, you know, who you are, right? So if you want more information on that or on Forex, uh, just let me know. But this video is specifically on Forex. So every week I'm doing this. So if you want to learn more, be sure to turn on the live follow <laughs> for Facebook. If you're watching this on YouTube, tap the subscribe button and then the little bell to be notified of it. And again, thank you so much for watching. My name is Cassandra, aka the Daily Wealth Ninja. I hope you have a wonderful and prosperous rest of your day. And by the way, if you would like a free absolutely free five day basics boot camp for those who are interested in Forex. Please send my Facebook page the message 5DBC, right? To Daily Wealth Ninja. That's on Facebook. It's my Facebook page. Send that and you'll get that free information. You must request access to my free group so that you can interact and get feedback on some of the homework <laughs> I've provided. But other than that, again, absolutely free. So thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful and prosperous rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, yeah, by the way, this, it's my birthday tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> my aunt gave this to me um, at my mom and my birthday dinner tonight. So I thought I'd wear it in my nice little video. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you next one. <laughs>